this would be our first introductory class way we will start with history chapter first what way how and when what we are going to study in this chapter we are going to study where the people live movement of the people name of the land finding out about the past one past or many different past what do dates mean before starting the chapter we should try to understand the concept of these four elements what way how and when let's take a simple example we and our parents are familiar about the means of transport let's say aeroplanes and metros our grandparents are familiar about the means of transport let's say buses our great grandparents are familiar about means of transport let's say bullock cart so what happened over the year over the years the means of transport has evolved and therefore in history whatever we study is basically the changes that take place within the time we call it a chronological changes or a temporal changes that take place so all the kind of a temporal variation be it related to any place any specific event any specific culture or so on would be part and parcel of the concept of history now the first concept as we said we will understand what when we say what we focused on what kind of clothes do people wear what kind of houses are there what kind of food was available we can find out about the lives of hunters herders farmers rulers merchants and musician and so on we can also find about the games children play the stories they heard the song they sang so all these come under the question what that we study under history what kind of food was taken by harappans civilization what kind of food was grown by egyptians so all these come under what we can also say in simple term those who don't study the past are content to repeat it that means let's say why britisher invaded india if we are not aware of that we might do the similar mistake and there could be a similar advent of some other countries into our territory so that is the kind of idea why we need to know the past so we would aware of that and we do not repeat a similar mistake in future so therefore the first integral part of a historical concept is what so we have all the basic essential amenities in our life which would be the part of what so beta this is the first topic next topic i will explain in a new video that is where the most important question it is okay thank you have a nice day